Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel, 48th World. Again, Deb Chanel's 48th World. All right. Look at here. It's time to talk. It is definitely time to have a conversation. Granted, it's in my own opinion. Lord knows I have one, just like other people have opinions and they want to express them. But usually, I don't really get on YouTube and have a conversation until it's warranted, until it basically is warranted. Because I feel anything that you don't want known publicly, you don't tell it. Anything you don't want known, period. You keep it between you and the Lord. That's it, because it ain't going nowhere other than that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't talking about two people, yourself and the Lord. You know the Lord ain't going to squeal you out. He ain't going to pop you out. He's going to wait till that glorious day when he makes you go to sleep and he gets to judge you on that faithful day. And then he's going to let all your air come out, all your dirty laundry come out. But at this time, at that time, it doesn't really matter at the time, right? Does it? It sure don't. You're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. That's only if you spiritually believe the way that I do. Everybody have their opinions on that as well. But come on. So let's sit and talk about this situation. Ooh, it's been hitting all the airways, the social uh, media airways, the blogs, the vlogs. Um, it's on probably Instagram. Uh, and it's, I definitely know it's in the magazines and our reputable uh, social media sites. Uh, just to name a few, Jasmine Brand, BlackAmerica.com, uh, OK Magazine, People, you know, entertainment, um, secular of the section that I'm talking about. Anything done in entertainment, I'm pretty sure you don't heard about it. And of course, my opinion is definitely free. You can listen to it or you can turn off the channel. It doesn't matter one way to me. I just feel like when you put your business out there, and I find it interesting that either you made a good point on something and I had to give you your kudos or you just kind of made a fool out yourself. And I, I, I got to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't tell me anything about it publicly, I would have known nothing about it to be able to come back publicly and give my opinion on it. You know, I don't do it on everything because some things just go over my head. Some things I just really don't care too much about. But when it affects the kids. It affects the kids, and I and, and I know I'm looking at two responsible adults here, and they very well solidified themselves into the entertainment industry. If you ever watch reality TV, or you've caught a little show here and there um, with um, the person I'm going to get ready to talk about, and it ain't really about her because she don't show me she good parents, and she got she got good parents one on one because if she didn't step in and do the darn thing. I'm pretty sure her uh, tribe, her culture, her cliques, her haters, everything will come out on her behind and get her straight together, okay? Whether she won't speak on the matter anymore or she'll come out and say, yes, I was wrong. Because she's she good people for that. She'll admit when she's wrong, is she wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, her folks will, uh, will corner her and sit her down and make her feel so bad. She wouldn't want to do anything to make her family looks stupid, let alone herself looking stupid. And like I said, you know, everybody should have a platform to be able to speak on things that's brought to you publicly. Anything's on TV, reality TV, you post it out for people to give you an opinion of theirs, of the actions that you partake in on your daily lives, then you open up the door. Fair game. You know what I'm saying? It is fair game when you do it like that. So, man, in my opinion, you need to keep stuff between you and the Lord and let it ride. You know what I'm saying? And don't speak on it. But when you make stuff public, trust me, you're going to have public opinions. And if I offend anyone about it, you know, I'm sorry. This is just how I roll. And when I speak on something, this is what I really feel. And I can come back 100 and say, you know, yeah, I feel that way. Or if some other information come out and it I didn't get the full story of it because it wasn't presented to me that way. Then I come back and, and retract some things I said. You know what I'm saying? Just say what it is. It's an opinion. You can agree with it or you don't have to agree with it. Or you can make your own. Make your own platform. You got YouTube out there. You got Instagram. You can go live on those different um, medias. You can definitely um, start you a vlogging site 
a blogging site, you know, vlogging is with video. Blogging is just you just work things out and writing it and write it up and, and put it out there for social uh, community to soak up and get the information. Okay, it's not like being a journalist but working for a magazine or a company that produces that type of stuff. Okay, gossip in a sense. Not really necessarily gossip if you give me your opinion on something. Now, if you just gossip in between different people and stuff and spread untruths, then no, you're not an investigative reporter. And you're not doing your due diligence by putting shit out there. Correct. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Keep it up. Uh, how to sell a book now? Keep it a book or keep it 100. Whatever y'all see out there. Uh, Lord have mercy. Hold on. I'm making a video. What do you want? Do you still want to take the Are you coming home now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, dude. Go right by. Bye. I tell you, when you depend on these folks, such as your kids or my child, say she's going to bring me something and she get her hair done and everything, and it's going to be appropriate time for me to eat. Now, that child left me at three something. She said she had a five o'clock appointment, and now she's calling me at something close to nine o'clock. Yes, I'm going to take her money and I'm going to eat. All right, bring me the food, even if I don't eat but three bites of it and throw the rest of it away. See how you, your, parent, your children treat you? You know, they had their own little word and they think about, oh, Lord, I supposed to have to get this off of my mom or my dad. Oh, let me go try to make it right. I still say take the, take whatever they're going to give you. And then if you don't feel like eating all the food, throw it away. Throw it away in their face. Okay? So they'll know, hey, you should have told me you're going to be running a little late. So I would have just went on and got my own food. You know, but like I said, children have their own lives. You know, I don't, I don't get into my child life unless I see something that I'm not liking. Or if I see something I am liking, I want to compliment them. You know what I'm saying? Or... I wait till she tell me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like to barge in because I recognize she's an adult. But that's why the Lord made us mother and fathers. Okay? He ain't make us social tweening or we, we best friends and all this stuff. And this is my friend. I'm getting No, I am mother. I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, how I think you should be doing about it. I'm going to give you the third degree. Okay? And then you can take it for whatever you want. Because then once I had my first talk with you, and I may go a second or third time with you. But after that... I'm always going to put it in the Lord's hand. Always. I said, Lord, take care of her. Or take care of all the people I love and care about that's acting stupid out there on these streets, whether they're reality streets or whether they YouTube streets or, or whether they, you know, just real life streets. Take care of them because they ain't acting right. I don't know what adrenaline they got going on, but it ain't, it ain't right. So when I say it, my peace, I give it up to the Lord. Call out, Lord, only you can handle these people. There are gifts in my life. And Lord knows my daughter is a very precious gift. But when I can't reach her, I know the Lord can. And I know he can stop in and everything that's not good for her if I ask it in his name. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Amen, amen, amen. But let's get on to this topic of conversation, okay? Kind of did the running off. But I wanted to educate people about, you know, the children. Be your children's disciplinary. Be your children's. Uh, strong, what do you call it? Strong uh, shoulder to cry on. Be there for them in the good times and the bad times. Don't be your children's friends. You know, don't even. You, no, it, it's not right. And it blurs the lines, especially when you're trying to make a point to them jokers. You know, when it's really crucial and it's really needed. But the topic of discussion today, we're going to be talking about Todd Tucker. Yes, let's get him some shine. I don't already retracted his uh, daddy daycare. Now, we're going to leave him with Ace because I ain't seen them but pristine stuff. He doing a darn thing with the boy, trying to grow him up as a man. This, that, and the third. Hopefully, Ace won't take all of his daddy's ways because some of them are questionable. You know what I'm saying? And we want our kids to be better than what we were. You know what I'm saying? Be better. So, he can have Ace. He can have the, the daddy daycare with the son. But I'm pulling his uh, card. Yes, Lord, I'm pulling his daddy's card when it comes to Riley and it comes to Caleb. Because evidently, you know, parents, you know, when they separate or they divorce or, or they, they were just baby mamas or whatever and baby fathers, you can't really stronghold the other parent if you don't agree with what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's their time. They're trying to set some boundaries. They're trying to set some memories. They're trying to set some tone or action with their child when you separate. Because when you were together, 
you all come together in one household and y'all have this one belief. And, and you, usually we let the man be the head of the household because he's supposed to be acting right on all the courts with the Lord himself and the wife and the children in that order. Okay, don't stray from it. If you're in a, a, a relationship, you see what I'm saying? You're in a marriage. This is what we do. Okay. <sighs> but when you let the Lord be first of everything, everything gonna come right. Everything is gonna come right. Now, when you're talking about serving Satan and, 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 and all that demonic stuff, then you're gonna know the whole ram that I cannot identify with and I won't identify with. Okay, but Todd Tucker uh, messed himself up in my eyes. My opinion, okay, my opinion. Don't judge me because I ain't judging him. I'm only giving you what he gave me. That's my opinion, okay. Now, he done took a trip with his daughter, showing her about international travel, meeting new people, getting a different culture, way of living, life, and, and, and interacting with a diversity group of people, mostly travelers, because, you know, it's very seldom that we sit and have talk time with some of the natives of the country that you're visiting. You know what I'm saying? It would be good. Speak their language if anything possible. So you stay out of much, much, much trouble. People can't always fool tourists when they come to different countries. But this joker done went over there with his daughter and three of his friends. Now, I really thought it was a daughter and dad trip. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm seeing other entities. He done bought his boys, three of his boys with him and Caleb. Okay. And I just recently got out of, got off a, a live video with him because it just pops up you know like i said i love him when he with ace doing the, the loving thing and all that good stuff and that's what we need to have strong men in general raising their boys okay to be good men to be acceptable in society and, and give them morals and values that can grow and manifest other generations to come. You see what I'm saying about this, people? Do you see? Are you understanding? Are you comprehending? Okay? Let them have eyes to see as well as ears to hear, Lord. Because I'm I'm, I'm trying to get them the good news here in the midst of my opinion. Okay? But Todd done sat over there and took his, out of all the field trips he could have did in the three countries that he's visiting, out of all he could have went to, he found the most degrading thing that you can possibly participate with anybody else. Okay, if you want to indulge in yourself and in pleasures of, you know, fulfilling the lustful nature of yourself, do so. But don't entertain it with other people, especially your daughter. Now, if you're with your crew, your boys, okay, this is what y'all do. I guess. You know, I'm not a man. I don't know. Because I don't even go to no strip club with no one. I don't want no man raunching on me unless he's my husband or my boyfriend. Okay. I, 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 no. I don't want that. That doesn't excite me. It irritates me, really. Okay? Because I'm not like out there like that. All right? Now, because what turned me on is a sexy man in a suit. I don't care what profession he in, but when he dress up and looking all sexy and night, oh, now that, no, that gets me right there. Okay? But it ain't about me. It ain't about me. Okay? It's about what I'm talking about. The topic of discussion. Todd Tucker. Okay? And I ain't even going to mention his wife's name until it's necessary. Because she didn't do nothing. She innocent in all of this. She innocent. And I'm, I'm probably, she, she probably got on to being a woman and everything. She probably like, well, what are you doing? And let alone Kayla's, you know, her biological mom. I'm like, oh, and Lord knows that Sharon was here, his mama. I'm like, just because your mama did it with you, you have two different relationships from what you would have with your own child and what you would have with your grandchildren. You know what I'm saying? And evidently, he's not uh, understanding that. Mama Joyce is not filling him in on that. What you couldn't get away with or with your mama, you ain't going to treat them grandkids. Or they are going to, them, them grandkids are like salvation to them. They ain't finna let nothing tarnish them. They ain't finna let nothing bad come to them. None of that. You were their experiment, meaning you were their child. So, you know, they touch and go here and there. When it comes to the grandchildren, oh, they off limits. And I beg to differ. You cannot say what your mom did with you, Sharon, meaning your mom did with you, raising you, exposing you to different things, does not mean she would have liked it you to go and take Kayla to a strip club. You know what I'm saying? Whatever she thought and did with you is totally different than what she may have felt 
now in her living if she was blessed to be still here with us on this earth. But hey, to be absent from us, be present with the Lord, and she in good company. Okay? Because I liked her when she was here. I kind of like Mama Joyce and both of them together. I think if they she would have had a little bit more time on this earth, they probably would have been best buddies. And they've been on you tall. They would have been on you like white on rice. And whatever your mama did to you in the past while you were growing up, it would have been it would have been different. It would have been different, son, with you. And better, it just wouldn't better. If, if she wanted to have a, a, a exposure to strip clothes, she should have went with a woman. She would have should have went with her mama. Uh, 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 you know, or just for hell, she's 23 years old. She could have experienced it by herself because she ain't going up there but looking at ass. That's all. Whether it's a female ass or a man ass. That's all. So it, it's not that she couldn't have experienced on her own. Which she, it would have been better if she experienced it with her friends. Or, you know, I ain't finna go to no strip club with Chance, but this is just how I was raised and how I identified with what I want, my what to share with my daughter and what not to share with her. Even though I'm still going to have that conversation if I were here of her going to a strip club and this, that, and the third. Hell, you can keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because I raised you to watch your environment and to know uh, how to keep yourself, your drinks to yourself, buy your own drinks, this, that, and third. Don't become a statistic. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, adventure, curiosity, that's in all of us. But that's not to say I'm finna get off my mother's throne and sit there and, and watch her, you know, be exposed to something that I don't even care for. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh-uh. No. But that's just my opinion. That's how I raised my daughter. And hopefully, you know, she took the opinion and went with it. You know, because a lot of things she ain't told me about her life. You know what I'm saying? And into, I'm not going to inquire either unless I see something that's affecting her negatively. Then I jump in. But I, so a lot of things I ain't tell my mama. And sometimes they slip out. Now she's 80 years old. And sometimes, you know, I'm 51. I might slip out when we have family and gathers and say what I did to, and, and, you know, stuff like that that I hid, you know, for years and years and years. Because it wasn't, it wasn't that for her to do. Because she probably slapped me in my face, my mouth, or whatever. And I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Okay? So I kept a lot of things to myself. But, you know, when you openly grown and you're free and you make your own decisions and you're just having free conversation with people that you know your loved ones or your friends or whatever you hadn't sitting down and your mom just being the president y'all talking you know crap going back and forth about what you did you remember you did it you know and then everything get let out for the mother to hear then you got to go explain and shit but you know i shouldn't be explaining that that was in my past you didn't catch me then you know hey I'm grown now. Come on, I ain't disrespecting you now. I, you know, don't fault me for my past, but everybody got one. Okay, I don't ask her what she did in her past. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to know. It's too, no, it's ew. You know? But getting back to Todd Tucker here, he over there in London, letting his uh, uh, only daughter, well, no, he got violent now, but I'm just saying biologically. Uh, this man sitting over there, you know, in a script club across the country. And he even uh, said or admitted he already took Kayla to a strip club in Magic City down here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm like, man, what are you doing? You having the wrong quality time with your child. This is not, no, you take her like you're doing. Take her to see other countries if you got the, the means, the resources, the books, okay, the dollars to do that. Educate her in another language. Uh, and y'all take language, um, speaking another language classes. You know what I'm saying? Take her to some art classes. It's a lot of things you could be doing and sitting there going to a strip club. You can't wait to age grow up and you, uh, what do you call it? Break your men on strip clubs or this is what men do. You know, take him to a lounge and y'all smoke cigars together. He, he, he might not be into none of that. You know what I'm saying? But he's just appeasing you because you his dad. Okay, you his dad, and that's it. But he might educate you later on, okay, and do better. <sighs> Todd, I, I just took your part. You can't, no, you can't be a daddy to Kayla and 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 and, and uh, Riley. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know what we're gonna say. We're gonna put you in the corner right now because I, I don't know. The parenting one on one was not there. You dropped the ball big time, and then for you to come and try to rationalize it after your followers. We're getting on you. And I was on the line. I sure will. I, and I ain't say that. I just say anything. Because you didn't put it out. Uh, like you didn't call me and have a conversation to that. So I said, you know, I'll just get on my platform. And those who have ears to hear, hear. Those who have ears to see, see. Okay? And get the information. But let me just go on. Because like I said, everybody got it. Every top blogger, every top magazine. Because they just appalled. They just appalled at what Todd Tucker is doing out here. 
you know, and, and it's a hot mess. It's just a hot, stinking mess. But I'm going in. It, like I said, the guru.com got it. Jasmine Brand got, got it. B. Scott got it. Um, uh, Black America Web got it. Any entertainment news feed got it. And it's making Todd look crazy. But then I'm going to go back and give y'all some points. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go in depth with it because I'm not into numerology. I'm not into Hollyweird and, you know, the things they do to increase their uh, visibility, uh, they increase their finances. You know, hey, I just put it out there. You do your investigative work and you just keep watching the situation. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, but let's get into what uh, the guru.com had wrote up on Todd Tucker. Okay. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta star Todd Tucker explains daddy slash daughter strip club visit video after birthday bash backlash. Now, of course, he making this a, a trip similar to the one Candy and Riley went on when they went to Tokyo. Okay. And Doing a darn thing. Ain't got nothing, ain't got nothing bad to say about Ken. About her, how she's trying to raise her daughter and her son and her additional daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't really overstep your boundaries when you got a mother. Where you're, you're being co-parenting with uh, your husband's uh, child that he had with some other woman. Okay? So, she don't really get into it. And I understand why she don't post a lot on the girl, Kayla, or, you know... Or overstep her boundaries because there is a mother, there's a biological mother still out there, you know what I'm saying? So, we don't ever want to disrespect those uh lines. So, I understand why Candy don't post a lot or don't travel with her a lot because it may not be something the biological mama won't. And you know, hey, when you, you know, you ain't really close, I ain't seen no snapshots of, the, of uh, Kayla's mom and Candy hanging out together. So it might not be a culture thing. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to do what you can do. And you can't expose somebody else's child on social media, especially if the mom is not agreeing to it. You know what I'm saying? If they're pausing the picture, of course, you know, he feel like he's going to do this and third. And, and I personally just don't really believe I don't care how high you climb in society or in an entertainment world, you should put your children into social media around you. Because, you know, you may not have good people following you. And the first thing they're going to do is, well, I'm going to try to do something with the children. Or I'm, you know, I'm going to try to get, you know, kidnapping and all this kind of stuff can go on. So I can understand when you when you out there doing your darn thing, there are sick people out here that would try to uh, get you on any way they can get you, and it ain't really about your kids, you know what I'm saying, but they know they can hurt you through your kids, so I commend the ones that don't have their children all out here, you know, like having them on reality TV shows and, and focusing on them all the time, because they didn't ask to be a part of it, and yes, it's going to help the family, yes, it's going to provide many financial opportunities with doing this, but, you know, it's like you're putting, you know, a, 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 a sign on their back to be attacked in some kind of way, you know, whether it's verbally or whether physically. So, you know, sometimes you have to think about things when you get on these reality shows and you're exposing so much of your real life that don't have anything to do with you, but it has a lot to do with your kids. Because some people can't take the pressure. They go, children are mean and they still mean. I don't know what get in there, get into them. You know, when they get into school and they, they feel like they want to bully people and all this and third. And say if your mom is not showing the best light or your dad is not showing the best light on whatever reality uh, TV series he's on. Or if he's making movies or, or doing interviews out there where the masses, the global world can see them, which open up a lot of opinions. And of course, you know, parents going to talk and the kids going to get whatever their parents or hear their parents talking about, they're going to take it back to school because they go to school with that celebrity's kid. And then they're going to be, you know, why your mom act like this? Why your daddy do this? He's stupid. He crazy. Well, dude, mama, you know, it's too much. So the ones that do go through this because the parents want to have that type of success, I commend them. And I don't really necessarily talk about them in a bad light. I try to be uplifting because I know this is not their uh, path that they wanted to be in, but because they're part of their family, they do what they can. Okay, but I just got off a little bit because you know that's what I do sometimes on my channel, so you know you gotta rock with me. All right, but getting back to the article that the guru had put out, it goes on to say 
Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Todd Tucker, husband to Candy Burris, made their internet collectively cringe after he posted a video of his daughter Kayla in a strip club with her dear old dad. Okay. And, you know, I'll make another point, but I'll make it quick. Uh, you can see he's trying to get notoriety because he's definitely trying to make a platform uh, for himself with using his wife's name. And we all know, and then that's what social media and blogs do too. They try to hook Candace's name to it so to draw more attention because we know Todd is not like that out there. He ain't out there like that now. I don't know if he's going to be out there like that later on, but, you know, a lot, of, when you put Candy Burris in it, you know who we talking about. If you say Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, Candy, Candace's husband, we, then we know who you're talking about. I ain't know who Todd Tucker was. I ain't going to lie. I'm like, Mama Joyce, who are you? Why are you here? You know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but let's get him his just due since he wants to be out there. He want to put everything out there for people to comment on. Okay. Um, I cringed too when I saw the video footage of a, a, a butt bouncing in the back and Kayla taking a sip of something, but you know, she was behind, well, her face wasn't turned to the camera where the butt was being thrown at her. But Todd gonna say, "Ooh, don't let the butt hit you." Nah, you you should let you should let the dough hit you when you tried to go in there with your daughter, okay? Because that is not a good scene. I don't care. I don't care. You daddy, you are supposed to be the father. I I expect better for you than be tagging around with your daughter trying to say she need the exposure. She need the exposure, okay? If she need the exposure because she said, "Dad, you know what?" My friends, them, they be going to these raid parties. Have you been to a raid party, Dad? You want to go with me? And then you say, yeah. And then at the raid party, they doing everything for us. You know, cocaine. They taking a hit of heroin. They, they smoking up, throwing up the weed. Like, who got five on it? You know what I'm saying? They drinking hard alcohol. I ain't talking about ladies' drinks. I'm talking about, like, cognac, vodka. Um, what is the other one? Uh, see, I can't even think of it because uh, I don't drink hard liquor. You know, anything that's brown and it look like it's aged and it's real like that cocoa uh, butter type brown rust color, that's going to hurt your liver. It's going to shrivel up, okay? And you're going to die of it, all right? Now, who's to say this child, since you exposed her to all this mess, satanic mess, okay? lustful mess Todd she won't become a stripper you know what I'm saying because you don't expose her to it do you gonna want to see people throwing dollars at Kayla swinging from that pole showing everything from the ass to tits from the head to the her feet you know do you gonna you want her gyrating on the man it, it, but she you expose this to her and who's to say later on down the road she ain't trying to get that extra she might be trying to get that extra money to do something or whatever okay you are expose her to it so you know, how you going to feel about her swinging on the pole one day if that's what she chooses to do? Okay, because you exposed it to her. Now, like I was saying about the cocaine and heroin and all these illicit drugs, you're going gonna to break a line with her. You're going to shoot your arm up with a needle and say, you know, how you feeling over there, Kayla? How, how, you know, these are the things when you talk about exposure, because these are the things kids or young adults are faced with, you know, but it, it takes the strong foundation spiritually religiously and the parents being mothers and fathers to tell them look uh this may happen to you or it may have already happened to you but these are my opinions i'm gonna give to you and all that stuff you know it reminisce in their heads and it's like uh oh i don't heard this play before and it's playing out in front of me and i know what will happen possibly if i indulge in this type of behavior you know what i'm saying but how you're parenting Kayla, I need the mama to slap your side your head. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need you to see her for at least a week so you can think about your actions. Because negative actions sometimes when you think it's just fun, it's lighthearted, can definitely come into some bad consequences down the road. We never know. Okay? Kayla may have a cry for help one day. You may not know it because you're trying to be her friend. That's asinine. Total asinine. 
And like I said, do you really think the way your mama brought you up, she would be appreciative of how you're doing, Kayla? Because I thought I knew my mama on certain levels. But as she grows and she matures and she gets more wisdom, what she did in the past may not be what she would do with her granddaughter. What she did with me, it may not be, be done with her granddaughter because she may find the fault that she may have introduced me to some. But she, my mama introduced me now, but to the, 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 uh, you know, the belt, the tree branches, you know, and anything to that nature when I, uh, shoes was thrown at me and stuff, because the sister was running when I had did something bad, you know, and I was getting chastised for it, and all the words were black mothers, son, they, they, no, they get physical, okay, but knowing that that type of situation was going to happen, for me while I was under my mama's roof and, you know, still growing up and just that and the third, there was going to be issues. There's going to be some issues. So I'm like, uh-uh, nah, that's okay. That, I'm, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm good. Whatever I do, it's going to be between me and Lord, and I'm going to have to repent later on. But I, no, with this woman, this crazy woman right here, no, nah, I ain't finna fool with her because she got set rules that this, you either buy a bomb or you be in the street somewhere, you know what I'm saying, or, or six feet under. You know, it didn't matter to her. Really, really, really didn't. So, you know, mm -mm. It, and it comes to play a part where they say you aren't supposed to fear the Lord, and that's it. But I ain't going to lie. I fear my mom and, uh, my uh, I hell I free up my family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but most of uh and you know, then the Lord. Maybe not in that order because you know, my faith and, and it was still maturing. So I know now I don't care what people say about me. Okay. I only I only care. And, and that's my mother too. Uh I only care about what the Lord think about me. Okay. The one that could destroy my soul, send me, you know, to heaven or hell, whatever. I, I you know, I I know. I don't mess with him. Okay. And I don't I don't disrespect uh, my mother at all, you know, but I do collectively get her together sometimes, you know, when need to be, but it'd be respectfully. But, uh, moving back to Todd's, uh, this commentary that's written by the guru on him, uh, it goes back to say, posting a video with the questionable daddy daughter time didn't go over well for Tucker after fans blasted him for choosing to bond with his 23 year old Amid, Amid, all the booty shaking. I know that's right. Um, then it says, uh, Tucker, however, defended his decision to take Kayla to the strip club for her birthday, saying that more parents need to be open or they need to open up if, as if they did, then perhaps their relationships would turn out better with the kids. Uh, me and my daughter went to the strip club before. It ain't no big deal. Me and my mom even went to the strip club. Tucker explains. Just going back a little bit while he was saying, you know, we need to open up a little bit more with our kids and become more uh, lenient with their behavior or whatnot. Or putting them in certain situations we think they're ready for on a mature side. K-23, she ain't had, no, she maturely growing. She don't have all the fundamental uh, tools to use out there because she haven't experienced everything. And even us as an adult, that's in our season 40s, 50s, 60s, we ain't experienced everything. We don't experience a lot, trust and believe, but not everything. But with the wisdom that we have had from past experiences, we tend to give them out freely to people we care about. So they don't have that uh, bad experience. They can just miss all that. But sometimes you can give people experience uh, uh, lectures and whatnot, or what you went through to try to save them some of the pitfalls, they still go through them. But you know, those are ones that had to learn the hard way, you know, and that's okay, just as long as you learn the lesson and you don't repeat it. But uh, I, I disagree totally when Todd was sitting up there saying that you know we need to be open. No, we don't need to be open to anything. We give our thoughts on the matter and we tell them to stay away from certain things. And that's all we do, and we keep them in prayer. Okay, now if you go and do the opposite of what your parent tried to tell you, then there's consequences. You know what I'm saying? Nine times ten, they're going to be negative. They're going to be negative. The half time is going to end you up in the hospital, in the grave, or in jail. Maybe not in that order, but those are the three options you have. <laughs> you know, seriously, when it comes to certain situations, you provide to put yourself in. Okay, now going back to, uh, let me see, Tucker continues to make his case about accompanying his kid to the strip club. 
they're going to go anyway, so why not experience having fun with your kids, he told TMZ. See, he up there trying to be on media, the uh, top blogger of entertainment, trying to get his two cents in. Well, he done, he just ludicrous. He crazy. He don't understand what he's saying because, one, he just he just grouped everybody up. You don't, you don't make a general collective decision saying everybody doing it. You sound like a child now. Everybody ain't doing it. No, you have a select few that is leaning to what their parents or, or guardians have taught them. And they have eyes to see and ears to hear what their peers are saying. You know what I'm saying? And some things just don't need to be tested. Okay? So, no, everybody at the ages of, from the time they knew about strip clubs to the time they old and feeble and be thinking about the strip club. Some people haven't win. They don't have went. They don't have the desire to go. So don't be like a child, Todd Tucker, and say they're gonna go anyway. No, they're not. Okay, that's not a true statement. You're grouping things up. You're making a generalized statement, and you're educated enough to know not to do that. Okay, but moving on for that one. Um. He also says that's what we need to do. We need to spend more time with our kids, even if it's at the strip club. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, God. No. Spend time, quality time, educational time with your kids. Leave your mark on them that you know you did a good job and not feeling their heads with, you know, all these different craziness that you're giving on camera. OK, then he goes on to say, taking your uh, taking your strip club, taking your strip club is cool. It's bonding. We throw so... Wait a minute. It's bonding. We throw some ones together. Smack a couple. Oh, he okay. He's saying you throw some ones together like you, you, you're making it rain. Okay, I understand that. Smack a couple of booties, but it shows that dad is cool. No, it don't. It shows you a fool, Todd. Well, maybe I'm not supposed to say fool, but you're crazy. Okay, you are ludicrous. You done lost your mind. No, that's not bonding. Again, if Kayla was on the opposite spectrum and she was a stripper, would you be throwing ones on her, making it rain? Or you be trying to figure out how did you get in this situation and we need to get you out? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Todd just keep making himself look stupid and stupid. I, where's Mama Joyce? No, where's Mama Joyce? Because you need to get a hold of your uh, son-in-law. He don't flip the script. I know if he try to have Riley up in them strip club, you would have a problem with it. So do, do, do Miss Sharon a favor. Go rescue Kayla. And, and cuss Todd out. Okay. Um, He goes on to say. But it shows that dad is cool. She's able to have those good conversations with me. Exposure is key. Uh, my mom exposed me early on. So I'm exposing her to London, Paris, Amsterdam, and the strip club. Okay. Okay. What doesn't fit <laughs> when we talk about traveling abroad and seeing things? Strip club is definitely the one you should choose. Okay, not a big deal, he says. Okay, no word on whether Bravo cameras were alone for the outing for the new season of the popular reality series. You know, I don't think Bravo would want to showcase, and this was from the guru, G-R-I-O.com. Go and check that story out. Good, reputable source. I don't think uh, Bravo want to have anything to do with pimping kids and putting them in uh, very negative lighting. No, I don't think that's what. No, they'll do it to grown folks. They sign off on contracts and, and papers, giving them permission to be filmed, such as idiots or whatever, uh, whatever drama negative that's going to be good for them to show to everybody to get them ratings and get them paychecks out. You know what I'm saying? But no, I don't think they want to sit and follow parents, uh, 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 unresponsible, irresponsible parents around the countries trying to show their parenting skills or lack thereof, okay? I know I went a little long, but I was kind of long when I had a lot to say about this situation, but the knowledge that I want to drop on some people that feel that a lot of things are not going good as far as wholesome when it comes to the uh, Tucker and Boris's. Um, I don't think I'm going to say Clyde Davis, entertainment and highly weird and what they have to do because you don't heard many people out there that's in the business or was in the business saying it's a lot you're gonna do to get that money and highly weird okay people know that's hollywood i say hollywood because i'm about with that uh the darkness that's surrounding them of the um exposures they trying to bring out like 
I don't want to say new, well, yeah, I would, new world order, how they want society to be. Because it ain't the world. It's the leaders in society that are thumbing down everything. Everything that was good and wholesome, they're trying to make bad. Everything that's bad, uh, bad for society, bad way of thinking, uh, no morals, no values, no mission to anything. It's just total chaos. That's the new world they want. They want everything that was dim, uh, deemed uh good and wholesome and the practical way of living life they want to show another way of living and that's being lustful being self-serving no matter who you're hurting whether you're hurting your mother father sister brother colleagues whatever excuse me whatever is what you want and that's the only thing that matters and if anybody's into their bible or any type of religion, we know we can't be self-lovers or anything. That's just common sense, okay? Too much of anything is going to be disastrous for us. So when you search and say, oh, I want money, I want to have no words, I want money, 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 money brings problems, 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 okay, on a higher level. So Clyde Davis taking the oath, darkness, sexual perversion, Blurring the lines between the sexes and what's morally right and what's morally wrong is definitely a blanket over this family. And I think we all need to pray for them because it's not looking good. It's not looking good in, in my eyes. And when they start to disrupt the children and try to get them involved into this circle of secretiveness and, and, and uh, one-eyedness and throwing up signs you know, here and there, it's just not good. So that's my take on it. And like I said, those who have eyes to see what's going on. Okay. And it's not just a uh, conspiracy theory. It's out there. People, you know, we're living in an age where we're fighting against spirits. We're, we're fighting against evilness. We're not just, you know, in the entity of just stabbing people in the back and we know what they're doing. You know, we're going on another whole level because we're just energy ourselves. If the spirit was taken out of us, we'll fall dead to the floor. You know, there's no energy. There's no life there. It's just a shell of the body of what your spirit was uh, hosting itself in. So when I started to see something that was bright and, and beautiful and lighting, and then I see this couple getting darker by each, you know, season, it's, it, it, you know, it affects me and I have to speak on it uh, because, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, when you, you know, you get sacrifices out there and then you start seeing people move up, move up when you like, OK, was this real hard work that this person got into or this was just like a toss of the dice or did people introduce people to people that start making them climb, climb, climb? And what did they have to give up for that elevation? So that's all I got to say in a nutshell. Uh, it's my opinion, and of course, it was free. <laughs> if you're offended or whatever, you can put it in the comments. I love them all, you know. I don't expect nobody to agree with me 100%, you know. And I uh, I definitely respond back. And I don't respond back in no negative way because your opinion is just like mine. You have one, okay? Express it, you know. Let it be. But that's all I got, y'all. Got to go to another topic because it has just disturbed me. Okay? So I'll be back soon. Don't forget to like, share, and um, um, post my videos. What is that? Like, comment, and share. Yeah, that's a Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yes, that's what we do. All right. Peace and blessings. Good night.